Drow Ranger. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Joint Order League Season 10. We're going to have another best of one. It's the third out of four today. Power Rangers going up against the Imperial. And, uh, well, fortunately, this time, today, Imperial actually have their full crew. Yesterday, they were missing Baby Knight, but now he's there, and they're actually, all I think, all on land. Uh, they're all together, so it should be pretty interesting, and this is definitely an interesting draft, for sure. I'm Mike Loris, going to be your caster for this game. Take a quick look at the bands. It looks like, for the most part, they are rather uh, rather standard, rather normal. The picks, definitely not as much so. Uh, Imperial opening up with an IO. I mean, that's fine. Whatever. Disruptor first pick, that's fine. Whatever. And then we have ourselves a Drow Ranger first pick for Power Ranger, the second one on the day. Again, very greedy, something that can be sufficiently punished if you have... Oh, no, we saw them yesterday actually do that. Uh, it can't be something that is very easily punished, should Imperial want to, and this is one of the best heroes at doing that in the Broodmother. Now, the Gust is going to be the only way for Drow Ranger to keep her safe versus that, but outside of that, uh, Broodmother has Drow Ranger's number. Like, in lane, there's not much Drow can do. She's exclusively single-target focused until you get an Aghanim Scepter or something like that, and... Uh, Incapacitating Bite is just going to smash your Drow Ranger because she just misses all the time. Plus, Broodmother just wants to be in the face of Drow Ranger all the time, so you don't get your agility bonus. So this is Imperial responding to the Drow nice. Ranger. Also, it is worth noting that they do have Baby Knight on the team. He is uh, a player that has been known to run Broodmother in the mid lane. I'm not sure if they're going to put the Io in the mid lane there as well. Probably not. But there is certainly the possibility of that, so uh, keep your eyes open for Baby Knight mid lane. It's always a treat to see that. As Power Rangers now gonna go, gonna go ahead, grab the axe. The front liner off lanes is the big ones for Drow Ranger are banned out in the Tide Hunter and the Darks here. So uh, taking this mostly because well there there are not many that many heroes left in the pool that can go towards the off lane that still work well with the Drow Ranger lineup. So there's that, but also the axe is of course great up against the Brood Mother and not really the worst hero to have versus an IO either. Like as far as anti IO is concerned, Power Rangers are loaded up with it. Uh, Drow Ranger. Gust is okay, I guess. It can certainly uh, help you disengage away from that relocate, but Disruptor and Axe, both of whom can just smash that relocate, depending on uh, where it's actually positioned in relation to the fight. Uh, it means that Power Rangers are in a vacuum, really well prepared to deal with an IO combination from Imperial, especially since they've also spent their bands at taking out some of the big IO partners, the Tiny and the Legion Commander, both going to be taken out uh, of the pool. Also, uh, worth noting, guys, I, I mean, I forgot to mention, there's uh, there's Scandal. There's Scandal here uh, for the Power Rangers side. X-Empire, I don't actually know when he got kicked. If he's still on or something, but he's here now. I think he got kicked recently, but I'm not really sure when. So, yeah, Scandal is pretty good. It's pretty good. But uh, you know, we'll see. Power Rangers definitely look like a fearsome group of guys right now. They just have to get their shit together, and they could definitely go far. Imperial, they're going to go ahead and grab a Centaur War Runner. Most likely going to be for Hesajo towards that off lane, I want to say. Still expecting maybe a Broodmother mid, but uh, I don't know. Axe mid lane, you could kind of out mind game the Power Ranger side, get a good matchup there, just someone range like a Death Prophet or something like that, and then just go ham. Power Rangers now going to go ahead and grab a Winter Wyvern. Certainly another interesting one from them. It's ranged, so you know, get plus damage with the Jar Ranger. It's some sort of answer to the. Uh, to the Brood Mother. Splinter Blast is okay at dealing with the Spiderlings, but more relevantly, it's just going to be the protection for the Drow Ranger with that Embrace, plus the fact that you could just freeze the Brood Mother and let Drow Ranger walk away, and then after, just let the Drow Ranger just go ham on that Spider. So it's a good mix here of Power Ranger's power. You could also uh, use Embrace on an Axe that's called, hmm, right? You take no damage, but you still get attacked, so Counter Helix still procs. Some next level stuff there from Power Rangers. Probably not going to be entirely relevant. But it does seem like Power Rangers, they're geared up for a lot more. Uh, it seems like they want to go for a very aggressive draft. And with the Draw Ranger, usually that's just what's going to be the case. Without really having to go for super aggressive heroes. Like Gwinda Wyvern and Disruptor are usually a little bit slower, are usually a little bit more defensive. And an Axe, of course, is fairly aggressive as well. But uh, it seems like they just have a good shell for this Drow Ranger right now. Lots and lots of protection. Up against mostly just the Broodmother, who's the bad matchup up against the Drow. Like, Shadow Demon is good up against the Drow in that you create illusions of her as so you get those uh, the agility bonus. Or agility aura. The precision aura. That's, that's what it is. Precision aura. So you end up doing more damage. But only for a Io and Shadow Demon. Who cares, right? It's not going to be relevant. 
Imperial are looking to stomp the lanes. That's really what they want to do right now. And it is going to be very difficult. Like, their laners are strong, but not overtly stronger than Power Rangers. Shouty Man Io is not a great combo, unless you're somehow able to capitalize off of a disruption off of another hero. You can disrupt into a stomp, and that's not bad. Rude Mother usually holds her own unless she runs into an Axe lane. But there are all these, like, unless clauses and if clauses for Imperial's laning phase. Like, Shouty Man and Io, it seems it, it's a very, very defensive support duo, even more so than that of Power Rangers. Not really convinced at the Shoutyman pick right now. Uh, it does seem like they need some sort of combo for that hero to really make it shine. Puck in the meantime is going to be kicked out of the pool. Power Rangers already have this Drow Ranger. Uh, Death Prophet looks okay here AoE-wise. Uh, for, for, the, for the Power Rangers side. Uh, if they want to go for that, fine. Queen of Pain for very similar reasons. Uh, alternatively, just go for a nice and simple Invoker. And then just play uh, play that one in a very standard fashion. Wex build or Exhort build, both pretty good up against what Imperial have. So uh, Power Rangers have options and then some. Whereas for the Imperial side, still need that uh, still need that Scaler, someone to really contest the Drow Ranger. Uh, Slark probably one of the safer ones, although up against an Axe and a Winter Wyvern, Slark does get substantially worse. Mmm, it's a Zeus for Imperial. So we're going to have some things mixed up here. Imperial are full on into the lane domination route. If they don't, they have a very, very short half-life with their team. They're pretty much going to peek in rather early. And for Power Rangers, usually just running a Drow Ranger draft, you're usually going to have a very similar effect, where if you don't win by like 20, 30 minutes, you're just not going to win at all. But Imperial scaling is pretty crap. Now, late game Zeus is all right. Late game Centaur, Warrunner, Broodmother, they're all all right. But they're not really going to be huge powerhouses. Uh, mostly because uh, it means it's pretty Spirit. fragile, and now Power Rangers grab a Storm Spirit, a hero that may just be crushed in lane. But it is Scandal handling that hero, so I would trust him to play my Storm, that's for damn sure. And it is going to make things much more difficult for the supports of Imperial, for one thing. Also for a late game Zeus, like, if he's able to stay in the back, he can do a lot of damage. But if there's a Storm Spirit in his face, then uh, Lightning versus Lightning, Zeus usually is going to have a much rougher time. It looks like for the lanes of Imperial, uh, it is actually going to be Hesta Job on the Zeus. Hmm, is that an off lane Zeus, safe lane Centaur, mid lane Baby Knight Brood? Uh, I mean, again, Baby Knight Brood Mother is like the the special, his special, and he is going to grab that hero. I'm not sure if these lanes are actually going to be uh, what you would expect given these heroes and player assignments. Power Rangers, I think their lanes are going to be strong enough so that they won't outright lose to this. Now, you never know. Broodmother in the mid lane is always going to be a little bit interesting. You never know exactly what he's able to do. Baby Knight in general just is one of those type of players. Like, he sometimes just brings the heat. Other times, the enemy team sits on him, and then he's just unable to do all that much. We'll see what game it's going to be this time for Baby Knight. As we take a look at the loadouts, looks like he's actually going to go up towards the top lane. Huh. I'm a little bit disappointed. Baby Knight mid lane is certainly a specialty. Got Ace on the Centaur, Warrunner with the Io. Shouty Min, yeah, he's following up in a pretty normal fashion. Hesta Joe is going to be taking the Zeus over towards mid. I mean, this is what you would expect, right? Like a, a Zeus towards the mid lane, Broodmother over in the off lane. Try to pressure that draw range as much as possible. At the same time, try to dodge that Axe matchup. I'm just a little bit disappointed that they actually went for it. Imperial, come on, guys. You guys got to go deeper than that. You're going to start losing your fans. 30 seconds to battle. Yeah, but Imperial, this is, again, a lane control game. If they don't win the lanes, they're probably not going to win the game. Unless they just get massive initiations on Power Rangers. And that is mostly going to be reliant on relocates and centaurs. We'll see. Power Rangers just have to play this slow. Make sure that Scandal gets some protection. Having the Winter Wyvern hang around the mid lane might just be worth it. You could apply a little bit more pressure towards the Broodmother, but she already has sentries up right now. She's actually going to take this time to D ward in this area. Observe ward spot. I think she just killed off a sentry as well. And she's going to have two, uh, two last hits. One of them was a sentry, one of them was observer ward. So already this is going to be a blind area for Power Rangers. They do have dust. They do have, they should have more sentries, at least one, Winter Wyvern does have that. So they'll be able to, you know, fight over this map control, but Baby Knight should have the advantage just by dropping one more sentry, using that tango to eat the last one, and then Power Rangers have dust, and then they're blind. 
And in that case, Winter Wyvern Disruptor, they're really, really bad here. They can't do that much to poke at Baby Knight once the sentries go down. The force are out right now, but uh, let's take a quick look at the other lanes right now. Scandal going up against a dual lane of Zeus and Io. Not really your standard lane. He's going to take a lot of damage, but at the same time, he does have the Drow Ranger damage to apply pressure back. If he's able to get a fast Magic Wand here, then Zeus Io is not really all that dangerous. And they will be able to do a lot of damage. The mana sustain from a bottle on the Io will mean that Scandal is always taking chip damage. But for the most part, the Storm Spirit should be fine in this lane to at least get CS. He's not going to be zoned out of that. And Hester Joe is going to be getting his CS as well, but uh, it's going to be okay for Power Rangers in that regard. Imperial are able to get the free lane down towards bottom. Ace Centaur. Safe lane Centaur. Going to be running uncontested as Treasure Cat is going to abandon ship. Iron Talon opening is just going to go in for a pretty standard axe jungle route. And it doesn't seem like Imperial with their heroes will be able to really ever contest this axe. So he should be having a pretty free time for himself in the jungle. No issues there. So it is going to be bottom lane, of course, one by Imperial. Mid lane in contest. Top lane, Guy's same thing. Under we'll see if, what Baby Knight's able to get out of this. We'll also see what Noya is able to do in this game. Now, he is mostly just going to be here to give Hester Joe that additional mana boost. Try to apply that much more pressure towards Scandal. Other than that, though, the Io can't really do all that much here. Scandal, though, taking a lot of lightning damage for Hester Joe. It's only level 1 arc lightning, but still it's a lot of damage. Is the Wyvern going to show up towards Noya? Use the burn, not get too much done. But this type of lane start for Imperial where they're doing just fine over in mid, just fine over in top, and getting a free lane bottom, that's exactly what they want. Fast set of items on the Centaur War Runner, probably still blink first. Uh, we'll give them a lot of momentum, at least a lot of options moving forward in the game. Dyer's middle tower is under Ooh, attack. sentry race, won by Baby Knight. He doesn't have to have sentries up, whereas Power Rangers do. But Baby Knight is actually going to... Oh, never mind, there's more sentries yeah. here. <laughs> never mind, lost by Baby Knight. GG. Vitalings, though, kicking Bignum's ass, that's for sure. Baby Knight should still be okay in this top lane. Not getting a ton of CS, but uh, still getting quite a bit. Axe is a lot more, I'll just say. Mostly neutrals. But he's almost level 6 already. Holy shit. It's 3 minutes in the game. Look at his farm speed. That is outrageous. I want to say that this is uh, a little bit faster than normal. Because of the fact that he has, uh, you know, gotten more spins, a little bit luckier, perhaps. Baby Knight, though, in a lot of, little bit of trouble. He's dusted up. He's dead. A couple more right clicks. Big Num's going to grab the Broodmother kill. Not the best, but still. It's a, it's a first blood. Can't complain about that. And we got Ryze. He left the bottom lane. But no need for this Shadow Demon to do much over in the bottom lane. So you might as well see what you can get elsewhere. And it's going to be towards Scandal. He has zero stick charges right now. Bolt into disruption. Perfectly played by Imperial so far. With Scandal now popping out of the bubble. He's going to get slowed down by the tether. A couple more right clicks. A couple more lightning bolts. Got him. Storm Spirit down. But that gank was actually perfectly executed. You bolt into disruption. Because uh, you just wait for the bolt cooldown to come back in while the enemy is disrupted. Can't really do too much to him afterwards. If you straight disrupt him, you get into a better position, but you only get one bolt off. Which I'm pretty sure in that situation doesn't make a difference, but it's just, uh, you know, still perfectly played by Imperial nonetheless. Scandal's going to be uh, up against one too many heroes. Level 4 Storm Spirit, uh, pre-level 6 uh, Storm Spirit is one of the easiest mid lane heroes to gank in the game. Like, he just doesn't have much. Especially now that's uh, taking all these bolts, getting severely chipped down by Hesta Joe. One more bolts on the way, however. Hesta Joe now is going to get wrapped around upon by an axe. Up on the high ground, Battle Hunger and Call, both available. But there's no creeps here, so a Call's not going to do all that much except for let him hit him a couple times. Bignum not able to get in range for just a level 1 glimpse. Kind of underwhelming. They do bubble up the Winter Wyvern up towards the top lane. Ryze only has Shadow Poison here. I don't think he could do it. In fact, J4 going to turn around with the Io coming in. Ryze might be able to do this. Shadow Poison now level 3 stacks. Io Spirits. One more to land. That's a kill. Got him. Boom. Shadow Poison. But Goddamn's going to come and kill off Noya. And Ryze going to get tracked down by Bignum. Will also lose his life. For Winter Wyvern, that is not really worth it. Marginal damage into the tower from Baby Knight in the meantime. Goddamn is going to be pretty darn happy about that one. Actually gone gustless for right now, but he's working with a hell of a lot of extra damage for his team. 26 right now is no joke. Just five minutes into the game. 
Power Rangers, you know, starting to break even a little bit more so. Got Cheshire Cat resuming his action on the bottom lane where ACS yes, does have a Vanguard. That's actually not that great versus Cheshire Cat. Oh, that Battle Hunger sucked. <laughs> that's uh, that's not your that's not the Battle Hunger you want. Uh, yeah, it, it, Vanguard not really useful versus Axe. The health is is great, of course. It makes it a little bit harder for him to kill you in the duration of a call. We got Stampede going out over towards mid lane. Jar Ranger's gonna get picked up by Zeus. At the same time, though, he's gonna get jumped by Scandal, who's very, very weak. Scandal's gonna go deep, though, with the help of J4. Grab the kill. Scandal's gonna dodge the disruption cast by ball landing in one more time. Rise is here with two stacks of poison. Not quite enough. A third might get the kill. He needs a fourth to guarantee this. There it is. Scandal's dead. J4, one shot away. Rise is gonna get an easy double. Disrespecting the shadow poison. Now here comes Big Num. Got him. Oh man, if he just went into the creep wave, he would have denied himself easily. But either way, Drow Ranger is picked off up towards top lane with the Thunder God's Wrath. Baby Knight now is a swarm of spiderlings. He's going to sick them right onto goddamn. Residual Fountain Regen will help, but Baby Knight, he's not going to be willing to just go into this just yet. Another injection. Goddamn, still standing his ground with no backup. I think if Baby Knight just charged at goddamn, that would have been a kill. It's still not too late. Gust is finally going to be leveled up, but goddamn, that was... Very suicidal by the Drow Ranger. If he just, if Baby Knight just charged in, yeah, he would have easily gotten a kill. Instead, he'll have to settle for lane dominance. Oh well, I'm pretty sure he's going to be okay with that. Yeah, Zeus collects a couple of kills. They do give over a lot to the Shadow Demon, though, in the end. Baby Knight, jacked up with the dust, gets glimpsed right back in. They do miss the Splinter Blast, but it's not a big deal. They get the kill on Baby Knight anyway. Kind of even trades going across the board. But Scandal does get quite a bit of assists off of that. Still, he's kind of at the mercy of the Shadow Demon of all heroes. He's almost level 6, which is an incredibly high level for a Shadow Demon. He's gotten himself 3 kills very easily. And Shadow Poison is something that is very easy to lose track of. 3 stacks, 4 stacks of Shadow Poison. I don't exactly know how much damage that does. Because, you know, there's a lot of math going on there. But rest assured, it does a lot. And now he has Demonic Purge with the level 1 Soul Catcher. He's actually looking at some solo kill territory. Maybe not on Scandal, who could just leave, but... Guys, still gonna walk right around Scandal. Observe Ward sees him, and then just walks away. That was a little bit awkward. You can't kill off a Storm Spirit like that. At least not by yourself. You need a Thunder God's Wrath and a Lightning Bolt there. Kill him off. Maybe they'll settle for Bignum instead. You see him. Bolt number 1, gonna connect. They have Thunder God's Wrath mana soon. Rise gonna bubble him. There's one stack Shadow Poison and a Curse. He's dead. Disruptor down. Zeus gonna grab that with an arc lightning, I think. Or a right click? Who cares? A kill's a kill. Imperial are still working down this bottom lane. Centaur, yeah, maybe we'll struggle up against Axe ordinarily, but with already all this farm. How much an Axe can do that'll actually scare the Centaur? Nice right click, did nothing. Nice battle hunger, did nothing. Now they're going to look towards bottom lane, uh, top lane. Stampede is there. Goddamn is going to get blasted down by the Zeus. Yet embraced by J4. Not going to die just yet. Scandal's going to arrive, but takes a lot of damage on the incoming. But they'll lose the Jar Ranger, lose J4 immediately afterwards, and Scandal's got to leave. He's going to hit with the Shadow Poison. One stack, couple more right clicks, and the Broodmother will get the kill there. Has to join in the meantime. Looking for the dunk is Cheshire Cat. He's in threshold range now. But he's not quite fast enough. The IO movement speed, it's too much. The Zeus is going to get out of there, and now the Axe... He has no backup. In the meantime, they're going to make a trade over in the back end. As the Shadow Demon will fall, but trade his life for Disruptor. It's a 4 for 1 so far for Imperial in a situation that started out 4v4. I mean, Power Range did trickle in, and that was kind of poorly done there. But Cheshire Cat now is completely surrounded. He is very bulky, very healthy, but he's going up against Baby Knight with quite a nice army here. I think he should be okay. Baby Knight should just try to avoid this conflict as much as he can. But Power Rangers, yeah, again, triple in. It is going to cost them. Cheshire Cat's still chasing after BBK here. Uh, Winter Wyvern arriving. A little bit of Arctic Burn. Can't really do a hell of a lot. Spiderlings, in the meantime, chunking down this tower. 60 damage a shot per volley. They lose Goddamn. They lose the Storm Spirit. And Ace is still on his bottom lane. They have a Broodmother on their team, Imperial. But it seems like Ace is just doing a brood, better Broodmother impression than the Broodmother. <laughs> he's got Hood, he's got the Vanguard. Not even upgraded boots yet, but honestly, if he gets Travels right now, that would be a sick pickup. Just wade into the middle of the fight, never die because you have so much HP. Very balanced, 4 strength growth per level. Or you just get Blink Dagger. I mean, just get into the fight immediately, but 
And it does seem like Imperial, they're just out fighting Power Rangers in this early stage. And that's the downside of going for the Storm Spirit. In the mid late game, he's a beast up against what Imperial have. He's exactly what you want. In the early stages of the game, you're going up against a lot of damage. And as Storm Spirit, you never really want to start getting into those fights. At least until you have a Soul Ring. Like, that's at the very, very least. Ideally, it'd be like Bloodstone or Orchid, depending on what you want. Then at that point, you can go in. But he just doesn't have the bulk necessary to go in, do enough damage, and at the same time survive what Imperial are throwing at him. This is great for Imperial for the short term. They have to make sure they don't give up on this pressure. Rise is going to hit with the Battle Hunger. He's going to get Static Storm as well, called, and should be dropping relatively shortly. Chat will dunk him down, but they'll lose the Disruptor in exchange. Maybe Knight's in the back end, going to try to go for J4, has a big army aces here as well. He dove right in, that's going to end up killing off two more. As to Joe throwing off lightning in the side with a double damage rune, even though that was not necessary. They did not expect the centaur to just stampede in there. Finally showing himself off. Yes, Imperial do in fact have a centaur war runner in this game. And now they're going to start to snowball. Already on top of the network with the centaur. Power treads purchased by him. He's going to bruise his way in. He's... I don't even know if you can make any comparison here. Like The centaur is kind of playing like a life stealer, kind of. Like safe landing just to bulk up and then suddenly he's an unstoppable force. Doesn't really have a ton of damage, it's just the fact that he will be able to tank for the Zeus. Do you know how everyone is always like, oh, in 2K MMR, guys, we need a tank? That's what he's doing right now. He's just being fat. Getting in, being disruptive, and at the same time, worrying about nothing. He's got maxed out return of all things, over double edge, over hoof stomp, and now they're looking at goddamn huge damage from Baby. He's gonna dodge the gust of the Spidlings. Beautifully done! Did you see that? He moved his Spiderlings after one shot behind the Drow Ranger, expecting the Gust. It didn't matter. It, I mean, he would have gotten the kill because he had so much backup on the way, but still, that was just impressive. Cheshire Cat now going to get hit with Demonic Purge. Where are you at, Axe? He's tanky, but not that tanky. Yes, Joe's going to grab that kill. Imperial showing up in a different form from the meta, and also showing up in a much different fashion from yesterday, where they were not looking good with their support stand-in. Baby Knight was a wall. This game, they are absolutely dominating it. 1,300 gold on top of what Ace already has. Man, if I'm in a pub and my Centaur has Vanguard Power Treads 12 minutes in, I'm already kind of happy because that means he hasn't fed. Who is this? It's J4. That's not where J4 wants to be, although Ryze is going to get hit with the Static Storm. He does slip out of the field before that actually takes effect. Three stacks of Poison, two stacks actually. The Thunder God's Wrath, that's not quite lethal damage yet. He needs one more to land. Oh, that's not quite there. It's not going to be a kill. They will have to back out of here. Baby Knight's none too healthy. Short Flim's back. No follow-up, however. They're going to chase down for Ryze instead. Spiders get in the way of Big Num. A lot of Spiders. They'll pick off Noya in the back. Ace is going to arrive as well. But to what end? He already used the Stampede to get in here. The lose two support heroes. Now Ace, he actually has no one to help him here. He's tanky as all hell, but he needs some help. He'll try to stomp TP out of here, and it looks like the Spider's going to drive him away. Ace is going to finally get some help, but will lose his life first of all. But here comes Hester Joe. The lightning, he's gonna look for Scandal, Bolt, Arc, not quite enough, Injection gonna miss, has another Arc Lightning, will kill off the Storm Spirit. As a Joe, a little bit late to this fight, but will make it at worst and even trade for Imperial. Maybe Knight's still surviving that one, has no Spidling army, has been mostly dealt with. The tower still taking quite a few hits there. The Power Rangers are able to separate Imperial in that last engagement, keep their supports vulnerable of Imperial, at the same time not having to worry about the Zeus, not having to worry about a Centaur who, having gone for this build, actually doesn't have all that much in order to get in. If he uh, if he actually went for a Blink Dagger, then that would be just such a different engagement for Imperial. But having gone for just pure bulk is going to cost him in this, in this one particular case. And Imperial are doing their jobs. Don't let up with this pressure. Always look for the fight. Their uptime is incredible. I mean, Stampede and Thunder God's Wrath is an okay cooldown, but oh, they're gonna first of all get Hesajo caught out of position with a call. He's gonna get relocated out. Short one from Noya. And that will keep them both safe, at least from the combo right now. Thunder God's Wrath is gonna be deployed, killing up the Drive Rangers. He's gonna arc, arc landing for the disruptor kill as well. And has more mana to start dropping more bolts. Scandal is gonna get dropped solo just by the Spiderlings. He's gonna try to sip himself out of there. Looks like he'll use the rest of his mana to survive. Although Injection still on the tail. Baby Knight is gonna get this kill with the help of the negative urn charge from the IO. Four for nil. And again, this is a fight where Ace be chillin'. He's just playing his own game. Like, Ace doesn't give a damn about what's going on because he's pushing down towers. His, the rest of his team is winning out. Noya has been such an impressive hero 
over the course of the of this of these games that I've seen from Imperial. I had played a Roamer, played Io now really well. I don't remember what else he played, but it was pretty sick. And it's going to lead into two Tier 2s. Power Rangers are losing control of this map very quickly. And yeah, the late game for Imperial is maybe not the greatest. Doesn't seem like it will actually be a problem right now. They will clear out the sentries, clear out the Observer Wars. But Baby Knight now is going to be able to lock down the top half of the map. Ooh, great deny there by goddamn. Cheshire Cat going to run to Rise, Bubble, Curse. There's poison, and now Cheshire Cat in a lot of trouble with a bolt. Oh my god. Yeah, that is a level 1 soul catcher into bolt. It's not even level 4. They're going to catch J4. It's both stampede. A quite literal stampede of Imperial heroes. Double kill for Hesta Joe. This Zeus is going places, man. And now they're going to go straight into the tower. Goddamn has almost Yasha. You know, it's okay. No Ring of Aquila. Just power treads. Blink in. Arc Lightning Bolt and Thunder God's Wrath for a triple kill. Delayed as it may be is still a triple kill. This tower is going down. We're 16 minutes in, and Imperial, they don't want to waste their time. They know that you guys have places to be. You guys have stuff to do, so Imperial are going to make this as easy for you guys as possible, as easy as it is for me. I get a little bit of a break. And they're just going to look to end this game ASAP, man. I mean, this was their game plan from the get-go. That's almost exclusively your game plan when you pick up this type of draft. But I didn't expect it to work this well. Because this is how this game is going. See this? See this right here? If you just take a screenshot of this, you see how far ahead Imperial are. Their IO has more net worth than the top highest on Power Rangers. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. It's always like IO's where the, where the Shadow Demon is. They're gonna find Bignum, by the way, curse him up and bolt him down. J4 gets a pretty nice curse and a rise, but there's no right-click damage here from the Zeus, so it doesn't matter. Ace is going to jump right in, double edge, and bolt. I don't even know if that landed. Scandal's going to try to get out here. Bingham's going to call it, though. 17 minutes in. Guys, uh, let me tell you about Drow Ranger. Drow Ranger is a great hero. She is insanely powerful when you pick her up in the second phase, when you adequately protect her. When you're able to hold down the fort, she does not do well versus Broodmother. That's just that. This is one of the most brutal games I've ever seen. Imperial are going to destroy Power Rangers. It really is a shame that they didn't have Baby Knight yesterday because they played two games yesterday and they didn't do all that well. They lost both of them up against Yellow Submarine and... Ooh, who was it? Alternate. Boom. Short-term memory. It's golden. Uh, so they did that, and it wasn't really all the cleanest. But they've saved us some time. We got a 30-minute break before our last game of the day, Fantastic Five, going up against Team Bad English. That's going to be right here, guys. If you enjoyed the casting, if you enjoyed the games, be sure to stick around. Follow me on Twitter as well, at Mike Flores. Follow the channel. I'm back for the next game. GG.